Hello Sagittarius, thank you for tuning into your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Daily Matero by Renata Lechner. For the support of Oracle cards, I'm going to use the Magical Spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. I already shuffled. Relationship first, single second. Let's see what we got. Six there, good. Now, I'm noticing your partner has a lot of fire cards. Like, of the Court of Fire, you got the Page, the Knight, the Queen, and the King. They have everybody but the King going on over there. So, <laughs> let's see where this is going. I'm getting, like, a situation that usually goes very well. A situation that's usually going very well is is coming to a spot where it, it needs to change. But why does it need to change? There's other possibilities in front of you. The Seven of Cups is a possibility card. Some people call it the Dreamer card. I think of it as possibilities. Um, I'm kind of feeling like something's been going really well, but it's like you, you come to a spot where you're like, all right, I've done that enough this way. I want to do something different. Your partner really liked this situation. Like they had the Knight of Wands. And it seems like they were very into whatever was going on here. They were very into it. They felt very secure. They enjoyed it. They liked it. And then when you, I feel like you're coming to the spot where you're like, all right, I need to change things up now because I have different things going on here, things, other things adding in. So I need to change this around a bit. I think I'm going to go in a different direction. I feel that's your side. And I feel like this is something you have the Seven of Wands with. Like Whatever's going on in your life, you need to kind of reorganize. This is one of the things you have to reorganize. Now, when you do this, I'm getting your partner does not like it. They have the Ten of Swords. They feel devastated that this is changing. They do not like this. But this has been a situation dependent on your... I feel like you've been leading the situation or you've been sustaining the situation. You've been the, the gas behind the motor. You've been what's keeping it going. You kept this situation going. You kept it going. You kept it going. And you're like, all right, at this point, I need to go a different direction. The thing is, your partner seems very devastated that you're kind of changing the thing, changing things, but they're going, they're going from the night to the page energy. And that's the problem. Whatever the situation is, you have to change things up. This is something things have to change. And this situation very well may be done. But your partner's going from the night down to the page energy, which it's, it's a lower level in the sense of like less control. The night, like if you come up at the bed, <laughs> if you're walking down the street and you're come up against the night as opposed to the page, like one of them definitely has more clout. I feel like that's the best way to put that. And I feel like they're downgrading like their influence, their 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 drive forward. And I'm getting what what really needs to happen is like yes, they don't like what this change is doing. They don't seem to like the situation. But what the situation is calling for them to do is for them to go forward and become the gas in their own motor, create a situation that they do want and go forward and be the life of their own situation. Yes, you, you two are together, but the success of their happiness is not dependent on you. They need to take control of that themselves. And that's what the chariot is here with the divine guidance. You pulling back, you saying, I have to change things up now, things are different. This is a good thing. And I'm getting, this is spiritually something you're going to have to wait out. This is not going to quickly shift. This is kind of like a shift. This is not going to happen quickly, but things are going to shift here for you. Your partner needs to change from going from the knight, which the knight, the key is with the knight, the knight does what the king or queen tells him to do. And this person went from the knight down to the page, like they're diminishing their energy. What they need to do is actually raise their energy up to the queen status, which don't get caught up in the gender, but this is somebody who's more passionate, goes forward, gets things going, takes initiative. This is somebody in a control position. 
that's where their success comes back. They need to do this. They need to be the gas behind their own motor. And I'm getting, this is not going to happen quickly, because I am getting, you have the temperance on your side, they have the hermit on their side for where they're standing. They're going to have to think this out. They're going to have to really like get on board with their own feelings here. Take that initiative, move it forward, move it forward on their own. Because what I see happening is things turning for the better for you. I'm getting you seem to be enjoying this because instead of being the gas for the motor, I'm feeling like you're almost like an accompanying song or an accompanying lyric to a song. It's like the song is beautiful on its own, but then when you add your lyrics into it, it just makes it that much more beautiful. But with or without it, it's still beautiful. It's just it makes it more beautiful when you're a part of it. I hope that makes sense. I hope that doesn't sound wrong. So it's like, you know, you have a nice melody, a nice musical musical song. Just there's no voice in it yet. But it's beautiful all on its own. It's very instrumental. And it's beautiful all on its own. But then when you add your lyrics to it, that's another level of beauty. I feel like that's the difference here. When your partner takes ownership of this, it's like he's creating his own song. The music is there. He's making all that beauty all on his own. He, she, them, whatever they may be, whatever gender they are, doesn't matter. But when you add into it, it's just kind of like you're the lyrics. The song isn't dependent on you, but it does make it more beautiful. Is that good? Wow, that was another quick one, wasn't it? I'm trying to make these go a little bit more condensed because I've heard that they go a little long sometimes. So I'm trying to make them more condensed for everybody. We'll see if that works. Um, did we get to the point? I think we did. That was really quick. You might have to watch that one again. It was so quick. <laughs> I feel like that went through really fast. Are we good? They're like, that's it. That's the message. All right. So that's the benefit of having it on video. You can just watch it again if, you, if, if you're like, what? What just happened? I feel like that went really fast. Um, and again, I'm trying to condense these a little more because somebody mentioned that they seem a little long. Uh, granted, I know a lot of people watch a few different readers on here and it's just like the longer ones are harder to really invest in. So I'm trying to make them a little bit more streamlined and not go off into the weeds as much. See if that helps. Um, so we'll keep going that way and just see how it pans out. As you can see from my other readings, I can drone on for a while if you'd like me to, but <laughs> when it comes to these channel reads, it feels like I need to get it a little bit more. I need to just flow and keep going with it a little bit more. All right, let's do Sagittarian singles. What do we have for Sagittarian singles? This looks familiar. And I'm seeing like the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles pop here, up here. It's reminding me of something. Who did I do with that? Who did I do with that? I don't know. I, I did the water ones, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio already, and I'm not sure. I feel like one of those readings hits with this. Um. I only got two cards out for the oracle cards. The top one popped right out like it was insistent, so we put it there. That's a success card. So this is a good thing. And I'm saying that because I feel like... I feel like you've been waiting. Let's start with that. Because this all seems to have the, all the same... Like, I don't feel like anything's really popping. I feel like it's all coming up at the same time. It's, all, it's like a dough rising all at the same time. Um, you got the, the Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like you've been waiting. I feel like you've been waiting for the right one to come forward. I don't feel like this is, uh, like, I don't feel like you've been in a, in a relationship for a while if this is really hitting. I, gr I granted this is a general read, so take it for the green, with a grain of salt, but you've been waiting for somebody to come forward. You've been waiting for the right one. For some of you, maybe the last relationship wasn't the right one. And now, that, and now that you're getting into another one, or you want to get into another one, this time you've decided it, this has to be more of a spark, has to be the right match. You have to find the right connection. Now, what are we going towards here? Because I'm getting, like, you got the Seven of Cups here. And that, I'm getting that in your thoughts. Like, you, you got a lot of possibilities in front of you. And you're thinking about, like, what do you really want? And I feel like... You're coming towards it like, I've been single for a while, or even if you've come right out of a relationship, 
the last one was not the right one. It just, the, the spark or something was not there. It was not the right one for you. And you're really questioning, what do you want? What do you need? Is the spark enough? Do you have to have the spark plus blah, 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 blah? Like, what do you need? Because I don't feel like you're ready to just settle for somebody. Just, I even feel like for a lot of you who this is connecting with, having the spark by itself is not enough. Because if, if the chemistry is there, but this person's a complete train wreck, there's no point to it. Because it's just going to crash and burn anyway. It doesn't really matter if there's a spark, if it's going to burn down the house. Um, that's what's pulling through. It's quite defined. <laughs> I'm getting what you're looking for is the Ten of Cups. Somebody who you could not only enjoy as a partner, but enjoy in a social sense. You want more of a social atmosphere. You want to be able to hang out with friends and have this person with you. Be proud to be with this person. Just have that camaraderie where they get along with people in your circle. Or even possibly, maybe they have their own circle of friends and you can mesh together yours and their circle. Whatever it takes. But you, you're looking at this like, you want a social aspect. You want to feel good to be around this person. You want to be able to go out and do things. You want to be active with this person. That's what I'm connecting to. And I'm getting here... The nine of wands with the success, you don't need something to start overnight. You don't need something to start off with a bang. You just want to start, you need something to start that you can see that at least has the potential to grow the way you want it to. And I'm getting that nine energy. This is a very interesting card because I get a lot of growth with this card. And I almost feel like you've come to the end of a cycle where you've realized like the spark is just not enough. The spark has to come with something else. <laughs> it can't just be the spark. That's what I'm getting with that. This is one of those curious cards in this deck for me. Sometimes certain decks I use, the images kind of throw me off once in a while. And I'm getting this one just kind of, they're like saying, just go with what we're giving you and don't worry about what you're looking at. Just go with the information. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, in the center, I got the Two of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. Someone comes right into your frame of reference. Somebody sparks your interest. Just, it clicks in quick. Ironically, I feel like you're excited at first, but you're like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Like, I'm feeling good. It's very fun, but I'm not into this crazy horse ride. Like, we've got to slow down. And I feel like that's interesting, because I feel like you might be looking at this like you're not expecting yourself to do this. But it's kind of like, again, you don't want the spark, you don't want the spark that's just going to burn out the house. You want the spark that's going to light the fire to warm the stove, to warm the house, to enjoy the house. Not one that's going to burn down the house. And you're just like, whoa, this is, this is going way too fast. Like, this is just, I need to get a hold of myself here. I need to get a hold of myself and see what's going on. Because I'm getting, there's a lot of love right off the bat. A lot of connection here. But right up, but right after, like, it's almost like you go on a date, the date is great, and the next morning you wake up and you're just like, all right, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Let me just think about what's happening here. I needed to, I'm getting again the need to slow this down. You want to slow this down. Um, I'm getting you are hopeful. You got the star card here. You are hopeful, but you're like, I just feel like this started off with a bang, and I don't, I don't feel like that's what I want. It's kind of like, again, you don't want the spark that's going to burn down the house. It keeps coming back. It's not just about the spark. You've got to have something else. You've got to feel a little more secure and safe. You're not, going to, you're not going to end up with a train wreck. You're just not willing to do that. So you come forward to this next card. And I'm seeing what gets you there. I'm just feeling how am I going to articulate this. Because I'm getting you really are pulling back. And you might be kind of ignoring this person a little bit. I kind of feel, because you're not comfortable with this and you're just not sure, you're afraid that this person might be a whirlwind. And what I'm getting here, in the environment, they want more of your attention. They seem to be keep trying, they keep trying to get it. They're defending, like, the, yeah, my life's a little crazy, but it's not that bad. <laughs> like, I feel like they have to defend their life a little bit. They're like, yeah, there's, it seems a little chaotic, but it's really not that bad. I feel like that's happening. This conversation is happening. Like, yeah, my life's a little nuts, but it's not that bad, really. And you're just like, mm, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. 
Um, is that real? Yeah, that's how this is hitting. So we're just gonna go with it. My life's a little chaotic, but it's not that bad. You're just like, <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, but I guess. Um, you're just not buying it right off the bat. You're just like, because I feel like you're looking at this like, well, maybe to you it's not that bad, but I don't know if I want to get involved with that. Something about this person is just not sitting well with you. It's not just about the chemistry. You're just like, I got to think this through. I got to be sure. Now, this person is coming towards you like, come on, I'd like to see you more. I'd like to do more. Like, let's keep seeing each other, blah, blah, blah. I do feel like you're relenting to that, but I'm seeing the temperance with the Isis inspiration. Now, the Isis inspiration is very much like doing what's right for you, but not giving up on a situation just because you're nervous, but digging a little deeper and like finding out why are you nervous? Is there some validity to your nerves? Is this really a bad situation? Does this just need to be, you know, handled a little bit more with care? Should you walk away from it or should you not? Isis Inspiration is a very empowering card where you stand very strong with what you feel, but you're more about finding out the truth. And really, like, you're going to do what you want to do, but you need to get more information and you need to know where you stand. You're going to do what you what is right for you, but I'm getting the temperance, especially when it's matching up with Isis Inspiration. You're taking your time and you're just like, I'll let this cultivate over some time. I'll see what's true here. Maybe it's really not that bad. Maybe this person is right. Maybe it just looks really crazy to me from the outside. So you get, you're giving this a chance. I'm getting what's going to happen here is over time, maybe a couple months, maybe a couple months. I mean, it's a general read. It's hard to say things like that in these reads, but you're going to give it a chance. And if it turns out it's really not that bad and it's just really busy, that's doable. Busy? I don't feel like busy is a problem. Crazy is a problem. Busy's not a problem, but if it's crazy, that's okay. I'll move on. I feel, and you're going to find out in the next couple months what's really there. And you'll make your decision accordingly. But the thing is, they're saying, especially with that ISIS inspiration, it's like, don't be afraid to dig in. Don't be afraid to find out the truth. You'll still be able to walk away. It won't be that, it, like, if you find out it's busy, I don't feel like that'll deter you. You'll be like, I can do busy. That's fine. But if it turns out to be crazy, you're like, I'm not doing crazy. I'm not doing crazy, and you will walk away. You're strong enough, they're saying at this point, to where you can actually dig in a little bit and pull out if you see that it's something you should pull out of. Are we good? Yeah, because you got the temperance anyway. You're going to take it slow. You're not going to fall. You're not going to dive into the deep end. You're just going to kind of walk around the pool a little bit, look in here and there, and just see what's really going on. Because if there's sharks in that pool, you ain't jumping in. You are not jumping in. That would be AKA crazy. <laughs> Are we good? All right. I'm going to wrap that up there. Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com, james4astral at gmail.com. Thank you.